Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions and swatches of the Copacetta Cosmetics Butterfly Kisses Palette. This is what the front looks like and the back. And this is by the indie brand Copacetta Cosmetics. This palette retails for $35. Uh, just like the Elysian palette that I also reviewed in another video. And this one also has nine shades. This is a sort of a purpley pink type of palette and this is totally my style. I'm obsessed with purple. And they have really cute shades and kind of like a different type of formula shimmer in here that I'm never used before but they look really pretty so first we're going to do the swatches the first shade I'm gonna swatch in the palette is the shade quiescence I think that's how you pronounce it it's a dark matte plum purple that's what that looks like next shade is nectar which is a pale sparkly pink color And that's really pretty. It's really icy, sort of like a topper shade. And next shade is My Baby Will Be. It's sort of a, a little bit of a duochrome. It's like a pinkish purple. It's also really, really pretty. That's what that looks like. It sort of shifts blue or purple and pink. Next shade is a newer formula. It's sort of like a textured, uh, a textured shimmer, I guess. Uh, this is called Chrysalis. This is interesting. And that sort of like chunky. I guess this is definitely something that goes over top of a shadow not the actual shadow there's not really a base color it's more of just shimmer or glitter or something um next shade is a press glitter it is metamorphosis and it's just that press glitter uh standard purple color i don't know how to really swatch pressed glitters very well but i'll try uh so what that looks like it is really pretty. I've never actually used a press glitter on my eyelids, so I will attempt to figure that out. Um, next shade is Cocoon. Cocoon. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is a pale pink, sort of really pale lavender color. Kind of shifts pink as well. And bottom row... Next shade is Life Cycle. It's sort of like a grayish uh, purple duochrome color. This one's also very, very pretty. I like that. And it also shifts kind of blue as well, which is really unique. I really like the way that looks. There we go. Uh, next shade is wise decisions it's sort of like a darker version of that color next to it I'll take that and swatch this is more of like a gray a darker gray purple but it's really pretty <laughs> and last shade of the palette is nymphalid which is this one right here. All the ones in the bottom row are, are like gray purple, which is really cool. I really like those types of colors. And that's that on the end. So these are my awful swatches, but hopefully the palette performs better than the way I swatch them. I'm going to be doing a first impression look using the palette so with you guys okay guys i'm going to start out with the shade uh 
question questions questions I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm gonna be putting that on the outer part of my crease and kind of slowly build it to the middle without quite bringing it all the way over. Also, I am keeping in mind that purples are harder to blend. They're harder to make as a shadow. But so far, it is doing pretty well. It's sticking to my lid. It just needs some building up. I'm starting out with tapping motions and then doing sweeping motions as it goes more in on my crease. Got some on my cheek, so it looks like I got punched in the face. I'll just clean that up afterwards. Alright, so that's what we're looking like so far. Uh, next, I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Uh, Nymphalid and put that on the outer part of my lid with a small packing brush. And just focusing that right on the outer part of the lid. It was all right, it just didn't, it wasn't like bam, like in your face, but it was decent color. I'm going to take a lighter shade. Um, this pink one right here, the pinkish purple duochrome, I'm gonna put that on the inner part of my lid. And that one's called My Baby You'll Be. I'm gonna take the same packing brush, flip it over, Put that all over the inner part of my lid and tr slowly try to blend that out with the other purple. I'm actually going to put that darker purple that we started out with and kind of bring that in a little bit more um, with a fluffy blending brush kind of to cover up that weird patchiness from that other purple shadow. Trying to make it look a lot better than the little fallout right now, but it's okay, we'll clean it up. Not a big deal. I'm going to take this shade right here, one of the new formula shades in Chrysalis and put that over the lid and kind of just spice up the look. I'm hoping that it will stick well. I might need to go in with my finger since it's so delicate. Just kind of sporadically spread it out here. Doesn't need to be perfect. Just gonna gently be placed over the lid. And a little goes a long way with this shade, I notice. Even if you just dip your finger in a little bit and then just keep tapping and then moving around on the lid, it sticks really well that way. It looks looking pretty cute. Um, let's see what else I'm going to do. I'm going to take this shade right here, um, Wise Decisions, and put that on my lower lash line. Alright, 
So I'm going to go in with this really pale pink at the top. Uh, this is a shade Nectar and I'm going to put that in my inner corner. Alright, so that is the look. I'm going to definitely uh, clean things up underneath, uh, put some liner, lashes, all of that, and I'll be right back with the final look. Okay, guys, I'm back with the final look. This is how it turned out. I think it looks really cute. I'm obsessed with purple, so obviously I'm really gonna like the way this looks. I did do a couple things different I've never done before. Um, I wanted to try out a couple different things. Um, so there is a brand called Glam Vice. Uh, a lot of brands are doing this right now. It's like water activated liner. Um, where it comes in a little thing and it's dry and then you dip your um, your liner brush into water and you swirl it around it slowly activates it so that it's always usable and it dries out when it's done being used and then you just swirl water in it and then you use it again so this is the a dark purple shade in the shade Go Go Boots this is the Glam Vice uh, Retro Liners and I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a liner and wing moment. And for my lips, I used two different ones. I wanted it to be a little bit darker on the outer parts of my lips. So I used the Menagerie Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cricut. Is that matte black one. And I in the middle, I put the Jeffree Star Cosmetics shade you better work in the inner parts of my lips and kind of just blended together and kind of put a little bit um of pressure around the outside just so i can get the excess black so it just blends really nicely i really like the way that lip looks it's sort of like an ombre effect and for my liner i use the pixie endless silk eye pencil in the shade velvet violet and I think that goes really well with my eye look and it kind of just draws everything together. So this is how it turned out. I really like it. Um, my first impressions are the bottom row is kind of a little bit lackluster when it comes to the pigment, although the colors are really pretty. Um, it just kind of needs a little bit more building up. I think that the dark purple, for it being a dark purple, did really well with blending out on my crease and kind of just staying there. Um, the new formula that I'm not used to, the textured shimmers that are like flaky, um, I actually really like it and I found it pretty surprisingly easy to work with and when you put it on the lid you don't need a lot of it and all you have to do is just tap it very carefully on a tacky base and it'll just stick to wherever you're trying to put it so i think that added a little bit of like flair to my look i really really like the way it turned out um it's an all purple palette so obviously i'm gonna like it uh, the pressed glitter, I'm not sure. I haven't used that one yet, but I will use it in a different look. Um, hopefully that will be just as easy to work with as these two shades right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first impressions video tutorial and swatches. And I hope you guys are doing well and safe out there. And if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.